Hi, you're watching Short Glass Media. This is Our Glass. My name's Rob Davidson. Nick Young. Spencer Vogel. Today we're talking about advertising, specifically like commercials and logos and whether or not we pay attention to them. Personally, I pay attention to commercials and logos, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I DVR a lot of things, and when I'm when I'm watching it, if I haven't seen the commercial, I'll actually like, go back and watch it because I think it's interesting how companies represent themselves and sit and show people like this is how this is how this is who we are and mm -hmm. this is how I represent mm -hmm. the company. So, yeah. um, do you watch every commercial? Or I you? think I think commercials can tell you more about the world around you than the content sometimes, <laughs> frankly, yeah. because the it's written into it. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. no, they, I mean, they, they, they can. Like, um, I'm not saying I enjoy the commercials, but yeah. you know, it'll, you can keep your pulse on the hand of America a lot better through the commercials, and and it does work. I mean, yeah. I, there's no disputing that commercials work oh, because absolutely. they wouldn't do it otherwise. Yeah. You know, those guys got tons of focus groups that would tell them if it was profitable or not, and obviously it is, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. A, a good. I, I mostly like humorous commercials. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with, with comedy, you know. Yeah, but I'm with when it's like Coca Cola trying to tell me that by drinking soda I'm gonna get like a hot chick and or I'm gonna get bears or ice skating or yeah, or like <laughs> I'm gonna be fulfilled in my lifestyle. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna drink Coca Cola. Yeah. And I'm gonna get fatter. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like it's tasty, but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm kind of the same way. I I uh, look at things that are way more memorable, mm -hmm. and I think humor yeah. uh, definitely adds to that. So yeah. like I when I think of like a funny commercial, I immediately think something like Jack in the Box. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That AT and T guy that yeah. talks to the kids; those are hilarious commercials. Yeah. Um, the Geico like the ones, are Geico, oh, the awesome. Geico ones, Ge are amazing. Geico yeah. progressive yeah. with flow. I mean, because yeah. what they did was they not only they they made you laugh, made you stick around, but they established a brand. True, yeah. you True. like the you Geico gecko. You immediately know that's well, interesting. And then with Geico, also like every time I see a camel now, I'm like, uh oh, yeah, <laughs> right, 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 right. What day it is. <laughs> right. Guess what day it is? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and one of the like one of the the scary things though is that they 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 have uh, surveyed four year old kids, right? Uh -huh. And we're living in an age where, in many cases, religious affiliation, political affiliation, folk culture, things like that, they're in the toilet. So. A lot more people can identify Ronald McDonald, for instance, yeah. than they can say a Catholic saint or something like That's that. True. So, and and depending on what side of the argument you're on, but I think everybody would concede that that's a little scary. You know, it's a little scary that that that. A guy, you know, hawking hamburgers has a lot more influence over your kids than the Pope does. It's true. You know I think I mean? it was like years ago, like on one of the late night uh, talk shows, um, mm -hmm. they went out to the crowd and they went to kids. Mm -hmm. And they said, uh, who is this? And it's a picture of Ronald McDonald. Mm -hmm. Every, Every kid, kid knew. Yeah. Yeah. They had a picture of um, our president. And right. I think this was back when it was right. like Bush. Right. And they didn't yeah. know who he was. You yep. know? And it's like crazy scary yeah. that... For, that that's how much power like advertising has upon oh yeah our yeah. influences and uh, well even like ideals and even like uh, certain kind of commercials that are for like similar products like mm -hmm. beer mm -hmm. uh, beer commercials like I I don't drink beer really but uh, <laughs> yeah. but for but but I'm all way more on board with Budweiser than I am on Miller because I like the commercials a lot better for Budweiser right. than I do for the Miller commercials right like a lot of the Miller commercials just kind of are annoying and, yeah. Like, Whereas I genuinely like the the right, I, I'm trying to even think of a Miller commercial. I can't even. Think nah, of they're all on the beach. It's all like just. Well, and then for a while they were doing the like the, we're the president of beers because Budweiser oh, was like king. The king and oh, so no. they're de they're democracy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah, yeah. And I, I just thought eh, it's, yeah, it's not really. Funny. Well, like that works on me too, because as you can tell, I'm a cheeseburger fan. Okay, and. I find myself going to Jack in the Box every once in a while, and then I, I'm eating because the, of the, the, the rubbery garbage that it's it is. It's not good food, right. but Jack yeah. is hilarious. Yeah. Jack is very yeah. funny. Dude, yeah. Speaking, yeah. speaking of which, have you guys seen the like new stoner late <laughs> night? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. that is yeah. a brilliant... Yeah. That, yeah. that is saying, that is saying, I have yeah. zero shame. I know our food is just 
demographic for drunks and stoners. With yeah. stoners. Yep. And we don't care. We're yeah. going to advertise for that. So clearly Puppet yeah. Jack. Because yeah. yeah. he's a puppet now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, the stoner kid is... Yeah. Are completely just bit bla- blazed out of their mind, yep. and it's it's time to eat the worst food in the world, and they only serve it after nine o'clock. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, yeah. So it's like crazy. Just yeah. Bam. We know we know our demographic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, well, and they've been doing that for a while because there was a commercial where uh, the kid was like going through the drive-through, yeah. and he's like stoned, and he's yeah. like. He's like, what, oh, should, yeah. what should I get? And he's like, you should get tacos. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then he's how like, much do you have? How many, about a book. How about many should book. I get? Yeah. And Jack's like, 30. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah, and totally, that commercial was like, totally. that was years ago. And yeah, I still yeah. remember that. And it's Jack has got I, no I, shame. I had not think, I thought about that. But yeah, yeah. They're, they're without saying it, they're saying Yeah, exactly. You know, and then... If someone like brings it up in a lawsuit, they go, "Whoa! Yeah. At no point did I say yeah. that Jack in the Box and marijuana go together." <laughs> yeah, you know, but I'm not denying it. You know? I, I gotta show you. Anyway. I think my favorite one. This was years ago too, where Jack is at the gym. No. And he's all talking. He's like, "Oh my God, 230 calories. That's not even enough calories for one of my such and such sandwiches." And then he's like, "Oh, she's got a nice body." Wait, did I say that out loud? She just kind of turns and goes, yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. I don't yeah. even know what sandwich it was, yeah. but it just had me giggling, dude. It was so like, funny. Well, the lo- I've also noticed a correlation with products that are very well advertised are often lousier than the ones that aren't. Yeah. Because look at it. Jack in the Box, great commercials. Since well, when have you heard it, seen an In-N-Out yeah. Burger commercial? Yeah, and those well, rock. Those the, burgers are good. Yeah, you hear them you on know? the radio, you but do. not so much. And, on the and they're kind of goofy, fifties yeah. ish, kind yeah. of like like positive ones because I yeah. think they're run by uh, by it's like, a, it's a, happy it's Christian guys. But yeah, it was my first job. They're the family owned company. And it, is it is it and rough it, yeah. there or is it like uh, really nice? Because I heard their employees have like. Good it, pension. Yeah. It's, it, it's definitely like, it, like it made me start thinking, man, I should have been flipping burgers for the rest of my life. Because if well, you get to be like a store manager, yeah. you can make up to they 100 have, grand. Don't they have mm-hmm. like the highest retention w- among like employees yeah. for, for any so fast that's, place? That's what I've heard. Yeah, yeah. totally. Well, they start you out really good pay. Well, and then there's other commercials where like you don't, you remember the commercial, but you don't remember the product. Totally. Uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. does that, is that accomplishing the goal of the advertiser? I think I, I think you might actually remember the product, but not consciously, because uh, there's a lot of under the radar things yeah. that are going on in advertising. It's subliminal. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things. I mean, I'm not talking like Exorcist subliminal, where they're like yeah, putting yeah. frames of, <laughs> of the devil in there or something. But I think there's a lot of they've studied the hell out of it. Yeah, they, they've got psychologists working for them. They know what's going to work. Yeah. So yeah. get you. Well, like the one that I'm thinking of specifically is the one where they 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 use the baby as the metaphor for the car. So every time, oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. they have like the baby is like in the garage, and he's like happy to see the baby, the giant baby, and then mm-hmm. the baby's like hit the fire hydrant, and mm-hmm. then it's crying, like it's yeah. crying, and it, it just I, I thought that was really clever, but I have no idea what commercial that was for. Ah, yeah. okay, what's the product? Was, I yeah, I don't know what the product is. I, I think, think it was an insurance commercial. I think it's an insurance mm-hmm. commercial too, but I. But I, yeah, I I, re- I recall yeah. the commercial almost verbatim, but I just don't know yeah. what they're selling. Yeah. I want there to be like more like I wish that there was some entity whose job was to like create anti commercials that were actually disputing. Other commercials, like take a McDonald's commercial where everybody's thin, number one, mm-hmm. and everybody's got a good complexion. There's they're racially integrated, the whole thing, and create an anti-commercial that says, actually, this is what <laughs> yeah. you'll see at McDonald's in Alabama, and it's like nothing but white people yeah. are fucking, oh, excuse me, oh, <laughs> obese, you know, yeah. like oh man, they have McDonald's is awesome. Us. Yeah, front bucks. There you go. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Like, I just want there to be the be compare and contrast, because <laughs> totally. McDonald's is not going to get you a nice date, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no. And I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, but what would be the, I, I don't know, I, I don't see where you're, what the, uh, what the goal, goal is? Would be, oh, like, to be a jerk. <laughs> yeah, there's no real, yeah. 
there's no it's real expensive. It's kind of yeah. yeah no, it's a, dude, the minute I get disposable income, I'm a disposable <laughs> of it. Okay, <laughs> in, in bad places. I, just to just to be cantankerous. Okay. Can, can I bring <laughs> up? Can I bring up? Um, absolute horrid commercials. Yeah. But I, but I already. But I know exactly what they're selling. Um, there's this really just cheesy, creepy commercial. For a uh, San Diego culinary school. Okay, okay and it's good. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? So, yes, camera, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> the cameraman just goes, yeah, I got it. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, it's like, it's like uh, just uh, the frame of hands mm. slicing open a, a fish. And the fish is talking to me. It's like, oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Cut along, along my spine. They're doing such a good job. <laughs> That's and I'm awesome. like, why is this so weird? Yeah. And it was like, it was like, you're saying, you have real potential. You should join the San Diego <laughs> Culinary School. And I was like, that's the creepiest commercial I've ever seen in my life. But uh, no, you yeah. remembered it. I'll put a link. Maybe I got a passion for cooking. For that. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, yes. This is the end of Power Class. My name is Rob Davidson. Nick Young. Spencer Mosley. Front butt! 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 Front butt!